In this video, we will explain how to test APIs exposed by the SAP API management with INT4 Suite. Testing APIs on the enterprise level should consist of few layers. Developers need to be able to run exploratory tests on the exposed APIs, and they should be able to save those tests for future references in an organized manner. Testers should be able to execute unit and functional tests. Those should validate API responses against defined reference payloads. On top of that, such validation should allow connecting API calls into sequence, for example, POST followed by the GET. Last but not least, enterprise API testing should be completed by the authorization method checks and quota policies verification. All of the above layers of API testing are delivered as predefined API management testing pattern in INT4 Suite. With our solution, you are facilitating quick, efficient, and at the same time enterprise-level grade testing of your APIs, developed and published via API management. The goal was to allow really open exploration that will be easily transferable into an organized, centrally managed and robust test repository. Thanks to that, you can test quickly and report truly. The main purpose of the demo will be to showcase main INT4 suite capabilities built for SAP API management. To make our example compelling and understandable, we choose the SAP S4 HANA OData Sales Order API that we expose on our API portal. We will create and validate sales order and we will store our ad hoc test as test cases in INT4 suite. Let's jump into INT4 suite cockpit. To import API definition from API portal, we need to click the Import API button. One of the options is to import from API portal. We need to choose an environment from which we would like to get the list of available APIs. Environment is a connection to an API portal instance configured in INT4 Suite. From the list of APIs, we can choose the Sales Order O Data API. We need to click Import on the right we are asked to select the folder where API definition should be imported. In the tree, we see the imported API with all its resources. We would like to post the sales order, so we need to click on the respective API resource and we will be moved to the API operation screen. We just need to select on which environment we would like to execute our call. Please remember that environment is our API runtime. As this is enterprise-level testing of the already defined API management instance in our company landscape, we don't need to care about server URL, paths, or credential. All that is predefined for us. If needed, we can pass parameters or headers to the call. In our case, it will be just the content type, and we can move to the body tab to paste the example body in the editor. Our API call is ready, and we can click on the Send button. If we configure the call correctly and our POST call is accepted by the API management and S4 HANA backend, we should have a response containing a new sales order. This is exactly what we see. So now, if we are happy with the results, we can save the request and response as a test case in INT4 Suite. When saving test case, you can choose to use an already existing automation object or create a new one. The automation object is storing all the parameters used during HTTP call and its reusable object. We will use the existing one as we run this type of test multiple times before. New test case is created in the folder under our post call folder. This test case has an automation object assigned. The test case itself contains request we would like to send to the API and response again, which we would like to compare response generated by the API call. Such test case is persistent reference for future use that will allow verification of API behavior against past results. We can run the test case now. We just need to select it and click Execute. What test run is doing is calling API with safe requests and it's comparing response with safe reference response. If those are matching, the test is passed. Of course, we can apply rules on top of it to ignore fields that are always different, like, for example, everything that contains newly created sales order number or current date. Such rules are stored on the automation object level 
so they are reusable for all of the test case for the same API endpoint. We call the sales order creation endpoint and now we would like to use the newly created sales order to test the get endpoint. We can copy the sales order number and use it in the get call. We have here a already predefined set of parameters collected from API definition by int 4 suite The recently used environment is also in place, so we could just paste the sales order number and send. Now, the same as with post request, we will save this as a test case. Now, wouldn't it be great if we can run, create and check post and get in the one test? I think it would. INT4 Suite allows such action by providing a parent test case concept. Get request need to receive a newly created sales order number from its post parent. Such relation is defined in the automation object using the variables. We can search for the parent using input help or we can just pass the number. Now we need to save. As our test case, both parent and child need to be executed together. We need to enable multi-selection in the tree view and select both parent and child folders. Now we need to select both, both test case and execute them. The relation between our post and get calls is visible also in the test results. We can check that the newly created sales order number is visible in the post call and it's propagated to the get call. We created a new sales order and we verified two APIs endpoints in one test run. Of course, the child from our example can have its own child. The parent can also have multiple child test cases. Sky is the limit in chaining those into the process. I hope this clarifies how INT4 Suite can support testing of the API management APIs helping to quickly achieve enterprise-grade API testing without much effort in reputable and organized fashion. Centrally managed repository in, of test cases reflecting APIs organization in API management with centrally set up connectivity and authorization layer is allowing testers and developers to focus on the validating actual API behaviors without security and connectivity layer on top of it. Thanks for watching.